Ashley. Yeah, nice view while you're waiting. Here's <laughs> a look at what's going on as we get a look at Storm Ranger, where we've seen some showers very close to the coastline, but most of us waking up to dry conditions. And as I zoom it out, we can see there's rain all around us, and it's kind of unusual to see all of this activity happening in July. But as we look at the rain and even some lightning strikes, this is what we were worried about. It's off the coast and heading to the north, so it's mainly going away from us. But we'll have to watch that for Eureka in that area because even just one lightning strike could start a fire and that rain is not enough to really help out. So we're looking at uh, this surge in humidity and moisture. Still a slight chance. Notice where it's cloudy at 11 o'clock and where it's all clear. This is the leading edge of that dry air and will be pushing through as we head into this afternoon and that will be ending our rain chances as we go into today. Temperature wise still 60s near the coast, 70s for the bay and it's going to feel a little bit hotter for spots like Concord and Brentwood headed toward 100 degrees and that heat will continue to crank up as we go toward the end of the week. Our temperatures in the low to mid 90s in the valleys while San Francisco will see a little bit more sunshine and highs reaching into the 70s the next few days.